I think one of the uh, important things to, to remember when we're talking about food and warfare is that at any point in time, there's only a very small number of people actually involved directly in combat in the trenches or on the front line, as we'd say. The remainder are in supporting roles uh, further to the rear, getting ready to move forward to the front line, training, supporting roles, operating aircraft from bases to the rear, etc. Um, the challenge for military planners uh, is huge in a logistic sense of both getting those people forward into a, an area of operations, uh, also their equipment uh, and obviously the, the food that they need along the way. In places in uh, World War I in particular, the logistic system would provide uh, the basic requirements. Typically, uh, they then uh, need to procure locally uh, additional food items, uh, fresh food, uh, eggs, dairy products, vegetables, which they'd source locally. The challenge though was to get the food forward to those on the front line. Uh, and that was, was always the difficult challenge, particularly at a place like Gallipoli or World War I, uh, where you had constant enemy action, uh, you had awful terrain, um, and in many cases the weather was absolutely atrocious. What they got forward was large supplies of the staple items, the non-perishables, which people then had to do with, uh, uh, use those several days at a time, and then where they could, they'd get forward the, the fresh items. Bully beef was boiled, canned beef. They used lead solder to seal the cans up. That in itself caused problems of leakages and, uh, and poisoning by, by lead. Most diggers considered it with disdain. They had no choice though. Uh, they usually tried to do the best they could and that often involved frying it or trying to make it in some form more palatable than, than presented. For the initial weeks, uh, most soldiers were okay simply because they had sufficient uh, uh, fat and everything else and were, were healthy. But after three or four months, uh, medical officers were finding that the nutritional value of what uh, soldiers were eating was simply insufficient, particularly in terms of vitamins, uh, and they really started to get some health problems. The combat rations that have been developed today uh, are, a, are a huge advancement, uh, both in, in variety, nutritional value, that they've been developed such that you could actually live on those combat rations for an extended period of time and uh, in a nutritional sense, there is sufficient there for you to, uh, to exist quite uh, favourably.